I feel like there are a lot of teacher trainings that produce teachers very quickly. And, and I think there are a lot of great teachers out there, but I think that doing this course, whatever style you teach, you delve deeper into it and you delve deeper into yourself and that makes you a better teacher. Knowing more about yourself and how you practice and how you teach and how you're reacting to things makes you a better teacher. And I, I think that every teacher can use more self-study and more practice. And I think that this particular course is, is that, is more self-study and more exploration. But because it's not directly yoga, just yoga, it's yoga and Alexander technique, it's more than what you've already done because you've already looked into the yoga part. So how can you go deeper into the yoga from a different perspective? And I think that when you have more than one perspective on anything, it gives you a better handle on that thing that you were looking on or working with. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, if you have just one perspective on yoga, then that's your only perspective. But if you come to it from a different angle, then you have this wide perspective. And so then when you have 20 students in your class, then you have this wider thought process of what's happening in the room and how to deal with it. I would describe the Alexander Technique as a way of bringing awareness to yourself, of, um, to your body, and um, another way of going inside. Uh, I think that the Alexander Technique gives you tools that are different than yoga, but complementary in a lot of ways. Um, that let you see your habits and learn how to move away from them. It's made me much more present. It's made me, it's given me the ability to not grasp as much in terms of the way that I do things. It's helped me notice my patterns of movement. Um, it's helped me slow down, uh, lose some of my anxiety, not overreact as much. And in general, it's been extraordinarily beneficial to me. It's also changed the way that I view yoga as well. I found that if, if I am practicing yoga from an Alexander perspective, that the effort, the work in the yoga becomes the effort becomes more distributed throughout the body, and it's less um, uh, concentrated muscular effort, and it allows me to see the body as a whole in, in more integration, and the power of the mind on said integration. In the course, we've been doing so much, which is great. Um, we've been doing a lot. Um, what I really love is that we start each week with discussion um, because it's a lot of work that you need to do on your own. You know, what you learn in the course, you then have a week to kind of go home and digest and practice and, you know, delve deeper into what you're learning. And I love that we have that time in the beginning to um, download with each other and, and also I feel for me there's been a lot of realization in listening to what other people have experienced because sometimes maybe it's hard to verbalize or to form what you're feeling and when you hear somebody else you're like oh yeah I felt that way too but I just couldn't put those words out um, so I love that the class starts with that and then after that, we go over a specific idea or introduction of, of, of an idea that pertains to um, Alexander technique and how that can 
help us in our yoga practice. And then we do practical work, whether it's um, a lie down or hands on with each other, and then we put it to use. Learn to see the world differently, and that's always a really good thing. Um, and in a really important, different, uh, exciting way, that's what you get.